Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mike Reverb. This is Just Cause 3, and you are about to experience all the cool things that you can do with the tether. Or rather, the grappling hook, which you can use to tether things. Now, one thing you want to know about Just Cause 3 is that they do not want you to run anywhere. This is the running speed. And as far as I know so far from playing the game for a few hours is you cannot run faster than this. So the main way that the developers at Avalanche Studios wants you to get around is to use the grappling hook. The easiest way to get around with the grappling hook is to do that. Just to pull yourself forward with the grapple. Or maybe even... Ah! Grapple yourself onto a car. Hey, it's Rico. And ride it this way. Oh my goodness! Right? That's one way. Another way is to use your parachute. Like so. While you're grappling, all you have to do is grapple again to pull yourself forward so you get yourself some forward momentum and you get around by using the parachute itself you keep yourself kind of afloat this way and you just keep going until you get to where you want to go now the other way that you can get around and this is also grapple assisted is to use the wingsuit which is pretty cool. You're not actually flying, you're more gliding. And I haven't really figured out how to use the grappling hook to keep myself afloat with the wingsuit. I just slam my face into the ground over and over again. So usually you'll get some air with the parachute, press Y to go into the wingsuit, and you should be able to use the grapple to pull yourself forward like that. Hey, that was pretty good. And that's just the way that you get around with the grapple. The grapple can also be used to... Ooh, can we use it on these chickadees? You should come and stay with me. To tether two people together. Please don't hurt me. Like that. And now they're just doing something that I wish was a mod in the game. Right? Now, I only have two tethers. So I can actually tether these two chickadees that are stuck together and put them on the car and bring the car and the women together now let's see if we can actually drive away with these women attached will it let us yay so now we're making friends we're actually getting around meeting people becoming popular in the land of medici hopefully they don't break because that's how you lose friends is by breaking them Right? As you progress in the main campaign and you unlock more settlements, you free them, you are able to get more tethers and you can have the tethers do cool things. Um, like they'll be stronger so you'll be able to tether two things closer together, stuff like that. So our friends did have to go, unfortunately. Best idea Let's see, day. what other types of trouble can we get into with... Damn, I think it's still going. Okay. Jeez Louise. Sorry, I'm going to need a ride. Thank you. You guys want to come too? No? God damn it. All right, we'll try to grab another friend. Get down can... From there. This is a company car. can we grab these two together? There we go. <laughs> We're surfing, dudes. Maybe add him to the mix. Come on, onto the car. <laughs> oh, I love it. There is no shortage of fun that you can have with the tethers. I'm still testing out the tethers. I'm sure there's more goodies that we can do involving people and propane tanks. But for now, I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of getting around with the grappling hook slash tether. And also tethering two things together and then taking those two things and tethering it to something else. So if you like the video, guys, please do me a favor and click the subscribe button and the like button. Because if you don't, I'll tether you. Hey! Right? Let's just end with pulling this lady backwards. There we go. Woohoo! Take care, guys. Bye-bye.